Hi everybody, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Anna. And we are joining you from Potomac Beads, and we're gonna be talking today about some satin cording. I like to yes. say satin cording better Not than- rat tail. Rat tail. <laughs> it's called rat tail, and I get why it's called that, especially in the black color, but it's so much prettier than being named rat tail. Yeah. I hate that, I hate that name for it. Yeah, but that is the actual much more searchable. Elegant. So kind of showing it here on our mat, uh, the rat tail we sell in a ton, a ton of different colors. We like yeah. don't even have. I all think the a good variety off the you wall. You did all yeah. those kind of different yeah. colors that we have, and the rat tail mainly that we have. We have some color mixes too, but it's two mm -hmm. millimeter. We also have some three millimeter out there so. that is in some colors, mm -hmm. and you'll see it used a lot for kumihimo. So the kumihimo is going to be that nodding, mm -hmm. that thing that people can't pronounce. Kumi, yeah. <laughs> that kumihimo. Or, or it doesn't sound like kumihimo. Yeah. yeah. You're using the disc and you're like braiding. Braiding, it's yeah. It's a fancy It's, it's a braid. fancy Japanese braid. And yeah. that's what you get. Here's mixing, I think, three different colors together mm -hmm. on that kumihimo. And it's easy enough that I was able to teach my daughter how to do it when she was like six, that she's worked with it. And one thing that does happen with the rat tail and you want to kind of be aware of is that the end does fray a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I actually just picked up some permalac glue. Permalac. And you can paint it on the ends to make it a little bit easier to work with. Did you do it with. to there, that yet? I didn't. So you can paint it. And what I would do is paint it down a little bit so that way before... So it seeps in. Yeah, so it seeps in and then I can take my scissors and cut through. That uh, way if I want so to add a So it dries bead, hard, you snip it and you'll get a nice clean edge. Correct. And also then it almost becomes like a needle. So if you mm -hmm. want to put on a bead or anything onto that cordon, good idea. you need to remember because it is two millimeter to think about that if you are doing a bead or anything on it. So a lot of times with the kumihimo, you won't see it with beads. Mm -hmm. You'll usually only see it with beads on it if it's just the cording exposed itself. And this one was just some macrame cording that I just did on a live stream on Twitch. So you can check that out as well with us working on the rat tail satin silk. You can do all different kinds. Mm -hmm. So what were you? So you... I was um, playing around with this. I wanted to make a little slip knot bracelet. And so I just did a little slip knot and then I was playing around with how to end it. So on this end, I finished it. I put a bead on and I just tied a knot afterwards. So all I'm gonna do here is just add a little of that permalac and that so, will just stop it from fraying. Yeah, and I don't even yeah. mind that spread out look a little bit. No. It kinda has that nice ending to it. I don't mind that. I just don't want my knot to come undone. Yeah. So I figure that'll help hold that Exactly. A bit. And then this yeah. is great for those of you that do beaded beads. Mm -hmm. You could basically have your own necklace or your own yeah. ending. Likewise I have the uh, what do you remember what the name of that Hilda? Um, no, no uh, Holland. Uh, Holland. I know it began with an H. Hilda. Holland. Yeah. Hilda Holland might bracelet. be from Holland. Yeah, Hilda may be from Holland or Germany. Um, <laughs> but we have some fold over ends. I used it in the video here of Anna's design because I loved the color with the actual design because there are so many colors of it available. Mm -hmm. And the fold over ends basically just look like a U channel. You'll stick the cording in it. I do use a little bit of dab of glue because again, it does have that tendency to fray once you have the cut edge. So you're just going to fold one side over, then fold the other side over when you're working with it. The other thing you can do is, uh, here I have it that I used the uh, wire guards. So I used the wire guards on this snowflake pendant and just tied it right to the back of them. Yeah. I love this idea. Yeah, it gives a lot of color punch yeah. to the back where normally you wouldn't have any color. You can use this in so many different varieties and you mm -hmm. can actually use it a lot with metal beads and pull that color in so that way you're not just using mm -hmm. metal and silver and it's another alternative mm -hmm. to basically leather or beading wire or kind it's of cable. A, it's more formal than leather. It definitely is yeah. more formal than leather, especially certain colors that you get in and you have that shine, that shimmer, like a mm -hmm. satin would give you. Yeah, and then we have this color too, which has even a little bit of that gold flex spreading through it. Yeah, so it gives you that shiny, it gives yeah. you kind of that more formal look and really can dress up a really, really simple, simple start of a piece by adding that color in the back too. So if you haven't checked out our collection of rat tail satin cording, mm -hmm. you can do so, and we'll put some links right below us here. You can do that little drop down menu or hit the little down button and get links to shop from us online for that. 
Remember too, if you want to, you can hit the little bell and the little subscribe, like the videos, and you'll get regular updates from us then when we go live, when we have new tutorials for you, or when we have these fun, hopefully inspiring little spotlight ideas. So I was inspired by the rat tail. Good. I mean, yeah, we, we I, definitely, uh, definitely ready to do that, some have some ideas. <laughs> ready to do some fun and have some I fun might with put the... some six O seed beads on my Kimmy Hemo. Oh, that's an idea. Get that uh, permalac, glue that up, and then get them in there too. So thanks so much for watching, everybody, and have fun with your own satin rat tail courting.